Welcome back to the cave. What we have before us here is a draw knife I'm attempting to restore. I'm going to use it myself. Uh, the handles were all dried up and cracked and there's nothing I could salvage there. Ferrules were in bad shape too. So uh, what I did was uh, cut some wood. I'm going to make some new handles. So I got uh, this one and the other one's uh, out there in the vise ready to be hacked on. And uh, I'll bring you back after I do some work on the, the new handles. Well, let me show you what kind of progress we've made here. Uh, taking the blank, we had two blanks, and drilled a hole down the axis. And then open the hole up on the one end with uh, this tiny little chisel. And I'd made this a uh, long time ago for actually for working on stone. But I sharpened it to a razor edge and it's just the right size to get in there and chisel out clearance for the, the tang of the draw knife. So then I started whittling on it. And uh, I'll, I'll bring you back after a while, a little more whittling, and show you where we're at. Well, after some whittling and a uh, little bit of rasping, we're making progress here. I'll show you some of the rasp work. <coughs> Pretty routine, but uh, essential. necessary. Starting to look like a drumstick. Oh, maybe, maybe it's because I haven't had supper yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'll fix that soon enough. the idea so a lot more of that to do and uh, bring you back when that's done as you can see the giant woodpecker has been busy making all sorts of shavings and things and the, the shape of our uh, handles has changed quite a bit since you last saw it although it uh, it has the general theme uh, made these uh, brass ferrules. I didn't have any tubing so I just cut out some sheet wrapped it around in a circle and silver soldered it then uh, formed it in an oval onto here and uh, just with a plastic mallet or just tapping around to get a you know the the uh, contour and uh, I'm doing the same on on this one except that I'm just doing the very edge and I'm doing it with a, uh, a steel mallet hammer just tapping gently to form that crack 
crown on there tied up against the wood. It is kind of a slow process, but I haven't yet had to reheat the ferrules to take out the work hardening, so I'm I'm trying to be careful. saying right about now gosh that looks like it's upside down well it kind of is except it's on purpose and uh, we'll talk more about that later uh, I'm making these handles for me not for just anybody so I'm putting a little bit of a custom design in here that may look a little odd at first but there's a reason for it so we'll We'll get to that later, but uh, we're making progress here. We'll bring you back later. Well, we're up close here. I did something I wanted to show you, a little trick. Uh, got the end cap of the handle uh, fit to the wooden part. And you can't see the other end of the clamp, but we have clamping pressure in this direction so that the cap is uh, pressed down against the joint here. Now it's a butt joint. Uh, the, the wall thickness of the cap is uh, in contact with the wood right there. It's just a little flat like a little lip. And how you get that joint tight uh, is by scribing it with a saw. That's one way to do it. You can, you know, you can rough it in with a file and you could keep going with a little file and, and just keep adjusting and adjusting. Uh, it's going to be a little hard for you to see, but the, the, the gap right here is a little wider than it is there. I mean, we're talking a really small amount because I've basically done most of the adjustment. But what you do is you slide a jeweler saw or any saw blade depending you know you want to get as thin as you can when you get right down to the very end of the fitting and slide it in there and you're using the cap as a saw guide so this happens to cut on the pull stroke so we're gonna move it forward just a little give it just a hair you're just sawing down the, the wall thickness of the end cap and that transfers um, it's, it's kind of a parallel transfer of the line of the cap to the wood and you just keep doing that uh, and working around you know you turn it and 
uh, work it around until you have minimal gap and uh, it takes a little bit of doing but uh, it's sometimes it's it's easier doing this than trying to hold it together and and pull it apart and file it put it back together uh, it's, it's just this is kind of a one step process uh, except it isn't exactly one step you do have to you know move the the thing around and see well a little bit of gap there and where where's the you, the tightest spot and that's where you saw actually you start in the gap and then saw to, toward the tight spot and that removes just a tiny amount of wood so that when you tap it down it's all fit tight there so just wanted to pass that little trick along and uh, you know there are a number of ways to do it this is just one way so hope that was helpful and we'll continue on with the fitting and sanding of the uh, the grips for the draw knife well after a lot of sanding and all of that the usual stuff we we got a grip the other one looks just like it except kind of the mirror image uh, got a coat of polyurethane on it and waiting for that to dry so uh, and I got the brass cap taped up here so I don't have to try and sand off the poly from that but uh, while that's drying and uh, waiting to be sanded and coated again I'm gonna work on the blade a little bit more so what I got going here is uh, I noticed that uh, maybe you can see it the top of the blade or the, or the uh, the back side of it has been hammered on so that tells me this was used like a fro which you can do but uh, if you're gonna hammer on it don't hammer on it with a hammer <laughs> use something wood you know where it doesn't beat up the, the the metal as much and it's raised up a kind of a ridge there that I'm trying to get out with the, the diamond there I could file it but uh, about the time I do that I'd end up having to grind out or polish out the file marks anyway so we'll see I may end up doing that if this takes too long but uh, hopefully it won't like it'll be coming out all right with the, just the diamond tool so that's just oil soap I'm putting on there a little water and a little lube and away we go So by the time I get some of those pits knocked out of there, uh, that ought to have it just fine. So I'll bring you back when uh, some more of that's done and we'll just keep chugging along. <laughs> 